Hey, I'm Bill Marion on another hiking adventure, this time on Sharp Top in Virginia, and this is a Nose for Life. So the trail to get up to Sharp Top isn't what you would call a normal trail that Carol and I have been hiking for the past several weeks, getting in shape for the rest of the hikes this summer. It's a road. In fact, the Peaks of Honor Lodge uh, there on the Blue Ridge Parkway where we're staying, uh, they actually have a shuttle service up to a certain point and then you hike the rest of the way in starting in May. Of course, it's April, so anybody wanting to go up here to Sharp Top, they we're having to hike it in. And it's great. I actually hear people up there now. I was being all quiet because I was wanting to see animals or something. Well. I think they're scared off now. But you know what, this is actually a really good family trail. The elevation's high, I'm a little winded from that, but as far as compared to, let's say, Humpback Rocks or some of those other places that we've been hiking off the Blue Ridge Parkway, there's nothing to it really. It's just putting one foot in front of the other and getting up the hill. There's only one problem with that. I wasn't supposed to be on the road at all. Now it's a long story as to how I got on that road to begin with, but it was because I couldn't find the trailhead, which is actually just down the road, but I thought you could access it from the property here, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, you're not supposed to hike on the road. You're supposed to hike on the trail, which I eventually did find, and it turns out that trail is amazing. It's far more interesting than the asphalt road that you're looking at right now. things where I didn't have the car with me so I didn't realize I was gonna have to walk down the road to find the trail I mean they have a gift shop they have all these cute little things there and of course I actually tried to go through the campgrounds here Top is a part of the Peaks of Otter, uh, which is three different peaks here uh, in this region of the Blue Ridge Parkway. Carolyn is hiking in another region closer to Roanoke, which is about 29 miles from this location. Wait, where's my credit card? This is my kind of hiking. I could do this all day long. My kind of hiking right here. There is some overcast and the humidity is a little higher today and of course the pollen count is astronomical. So the views are good, but they're not as good as they would be on a crisp fall day. Just to show you my progress, there's the lodge. And so I've made it up pretty high since the last time we shot an image of the lodge. The 
these wildflowers, they're absolutely beautiful and I'm enjoying the scenery, but man, they are killing my allergies. I think it's them, maybe something else, who knows. There's a great breeze and the temperature has steadily increased, but so is my elevation. So quite honestly, I'm pretty comfortable. Now, beginning in May, they run shuttles up to a certain point. What I'm having a hard time doing right now is making sure that it's marked. I actually had to hot dog the trail to find it. I came up through the woods and just sort of aimed at the peak of the mountains till I found this particular road because there was no signs indicating where this road was at. And nobody around the lodge kind of knew what I was talking about. So it took me a little a while to find it. So like, here's the entrance of the trail. And they even have like a little fudge shop, sandwich shop thing for hikers to grab them something on the way up the on the way up to the mountain. Cause like little kids do this. Seriously. to point out that hiking on the roadway like I've done today is normally prohibited but until May there's nothing running up and down this road they don't have the shuttle services running up and down the road but up here not quite the top about 1500 feet from the top they do have this little bus uh, area a little shelter if you're gonna catch the bus up and down and of course the main trail starts right there to the very top
I'm pooped. I shopped a lot. And the whole story even gets worse when it comes to what happened when I got on top of the mountain. Now, first of all, you get up there, it's 1,500 feet until you actually get to the top where the rocks are beautiful. And it's, it was amazing. But the trail up there, I'm just going to be real with you. It was spooky. Dead serious. So you leave the asphalt, you go past the bus, uh, the little bus shelter, and you start walking up to the big rocks, and it's very impressive and it's amazing. But there was this spooky kind of mystery thing going on. That I, I can't explain it. I keep asking people around here and they look at me like I'm crazy because I guess I'm weird anyway. But yeah, there was a little bit of spookiness to it, but it was fun. It was awesome. It's something I'm definitely going to come back and do. It's one of the funnest trails I've been on in years. I absolutely loved Humpback Rocks. Uh, Carolyn and I did that. You can watch that video by clicking right here. And we had a great time doing Humpback Rocks. Um, on the other end, uh, or the northern end of the Blue Ridge Parkway. I think Carolyn is gonna love this, but I think we're get, what we'll do is take the shuttle up, because you can take a shuttle up and just do the last 1,500, uh, last 1500 feet. <laughs> Thank you.